Hello friends, welcome to the Take Better Photos channel. In my last video, I talked about all the reasons to use Photomator over Pixelmator Pro. The goal for that video, as is this one, is to clear up the confusion regarding the differences between Photomator and Pixelmator Pro. In today's video, we're going to be turning the tables and talking about five reasons to use Pixelmator Pro over Photomator. So let's get right into this. The first reason to use Pixelmator Pro over Photomator is the price. If price is a concern for you, Pixelmator Pro's $49 US lifetime price is a big discount from Photomator's $99 US lifetime price. Despite the lower price point, you get the same color adjustment panel as Photomator with exactly the same adjustment quality for any of the tools. And that includes shadows, highlights, clarity, curves, selective color adjustments, etc., etc. In addition, you also get AI masking tools, just like select subject as you're seeing here, though the amount of tools is less than Photomator's. In short, Pixelmator Pro gives you most of what Photomator has for half the price. Another reason to use Pixelmator Pro over Photomator is its brush edge detection. If you've used AI tools long enough, you know that no matter how good they are, there will always be certain situations where AI masking tools fail and you need to do manual brushing. So let's look at an example. In this image, I want to lower the brightness and enhance the detail of the Merlion statue in the background. Unfortunately, none of the AI tools of Photomator will select this object properly. As you can see here, select subject does not work because the object is too small to be considered a subject, nor does select color range work because the color of the statue is not unique among the colors in this photo. The only viable option is Photomator's masking brush, but since it has no edge detection, it makes making a precise mask a challenge. How about Pixelmator Pro? Unlike Photomator, Pixelmator Pro has a brush with edge detection called the Quick Selection Brush, which I'm using right now. As you can see, it is fast, accurate, and reliable, and one of the reasons to use Pixelmator Pro over Photomator. Another reason to use Pixelmator Pro over Photomator is if you want to blur the background. One of the most common things you do to enhance any photo is to blur a background. Only Pixelmator Pro supports effects, which includes the lens blur, which will allow you to create the beautiful bokeh as you can see in this portrait shot. If you want to know more about background blurring, check out the video I made on this topic. Another advantage of Pixelmator Pro over Photomator is you can do exposure blending. Exposure blending is a technique where you can blend two images taken at different exposures in order to get more dynamic range out of a scene. So in this image, you can see that I have two exposures, one very dark and one brighter. And the idea here is you want to combine the best of both exposures in order to get a shot which best represents the scene I saw when I took the shot. So if you want this type of editing, you need a type of layer called a pixel layer, which Photomator does not support. Photomator supports only adjustment layers, which does not allow for this type of exposure blending. Another reason to use Pixelmator Pro is the ability to correct complex distortion problems. If you want to correct more advanced distortion problems, like trying to straighten a building as in this example, Pixelmator Pro with its built-in transform tool is the one to use. With its transform tool, you can slant objects vertically or horizontally, stretch corners to any direction you want, or change perspective. Photometer just supports horizontal and vertical perspective correction, which as you can see here, doesn't do the job of straightening this building. And it's more useful for basic distortion problems. So there you have it, five reasons to use Pixelmator Pro over Photomator. As you can see, Pixelmator Pro is no slouch and can do things which are impossible for Photomator. The best workflow though is the ability to edit with both Photomator and Pixelmator Pro. And with the latest Pixelmator Pro update, you can do just that. That will be the topic of my next video, so watch out for that. So. 
I hope you found this video helpful. Do let me know if you've decided to use Photometer or you're sticking with Pixelmator Pro. I'd love to hear from you. And if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to help keep the videos coming. And till the next video, I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.